we're actually on National Cycle Network Route 10 and we haven't done many miles of it as yet as in the whole length of Route 10 we have done this stretch before and I particularly like it Travelling along the shared use route in Pontyland, still heading west, soon to be turning south. We'll be going down to meet National Cycle Network Route 72, which follows time for a while. Well now, between Route 10 and en route joining National Cycle Network Route 72 down at the Tyne. Got a left hand turn coming up soon and an interesting route part past rather a little bit of Hadrian's Wall and then down to the river. Take a right, head west. Hoping we're just going to get a nice view open up ahead of us right across the Tyne Valley. Well, we've left Heddon on the Wall behind now and we're approaching Wylam. Wylam's an interesting place. We'll be shortly going past George Stevenson's birthplace. Now, George Stevenson, he was one of the key engineers who started off the railway revolution in the UK. And he started off in this house which looks quite grand for the time but when you actually realize that there were several families living in this house it seems quite small by modern standards this is high bank bridge we're approaching over the time, past Stevenson's cottage, and we were even lucky enough to hit an opportunity to go in on a free open day. We just had a tour of the one room that the whole family lived in. now left of the German Prudder well behind. We're now in Bywell, this is a little detour. Now Bywell is an interesting place, it has a castle and it has two churches side by side. One is called the White Church and the other one ominously is called the Black Church. This is nothing to do with dirty deeds. It was actually more to do with the fact that the monks of one church used to wear white robes and the monks of the other used to wear black.
left five oh behind. We're heading in the direction of Corbridge. Moment, lovely quiet country lanes. Only had a couple of cars pass this. The weather's cooling a bit, but actually, honestly, it's a bit stuffy. The importance of generating your own breeze when you're on a bicycle. Missed out a few places along the way. Uh, we came through Corbridge, which was <laughs> chaos. Uh, so we didn't get much filming, and it was very busy. We're now passing very close to Hexham now. You see the wonderful sight of the pit, the plumes from the pit are without any skyline somewhere. And it's our final stopping point for tonight. Oh, there's the paper mill. It's been a fairly easy ride out of the compared to the days we've got coming. But I must admit, I'm ready for something to eat now. And here we are, Hexham. <laughs> 